A new highly awaited report from the Biden administration says Israel may have violated international humanitarian law in Gaza, but it stopped short of a definitive assessment of wrongdoing. The report is drawing intense backlash from both sides of the aisle. Some Democrats say it's woefully inadequate, and some Republicans in Congress are slamming Biden's shift in tone on the war. Natalie Brand is at the White House with more. Natalie, good morning. Good morning, Dana. This nearly 50-page report was delivered to Congress by the State Department. It comes after dozens of Congress members sounded the alarm over possible violations of U.S. law regarding foreign assistance. And while the report is critical of Israel, it's inconclusive. A series of incidents that killed civilians, children, and humanitarian workers are mentioned in the new State Department report. However, it says it's not able to reach definitive conclusions on whether U.S. supplied weapons were used in the actions alleged as violations of humanitarian law. But it goes on to say, given Israel's significant reliance on U.S.-made defense articles, it's reasonable to assess that weapons may have been used by Israel's military in instances, quote, inconsistent with international law. So what message does this report send Israel? It sends a muddled message because it's inconclusive. It leaves open the question of what's the best way for the United States and Israel to try to bridge the gaps that now uh, have become so apparent between the two of them on this particular rough operation. The report comes the same week as the Biden administration's decision to pause the delivery of thousands of bombs to Israel, a move blasted by congressional Republicans. And he is turning his back on Israel. And the president is only emboldening Hamas. President Biden says he will not supply offensive weapons that Israel could use in a large-scale military operation in Rafah. If the question is, uh, is it possible to conduct effective operations and protect civilians, absolutely it's possible. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told reporters Friday there have been far too many civilian casualties since the Israel-Hamas war began. We would like to see that trend uh, 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 change. Um, so that, that's really our focus. The Biden administration says it's also watching with concern what the U.N. calls a worsening humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The State Department's report says while the overall level of aid reaching Palestinians remains, quote, insufficient, it goes on to say it doesn't currently assess that the Israeli government is prohibiting or restricting delivery of U.S. humanitarian assistance. The new report also mentions Israel has a number of ongoing active investigations pending and notes military experts describe Gaza as being as difficult a battle space as any military has faced in modern warfare. Now, in a new statement this morning, Israel says it's in complete compliance with the laws of armed conflict. Natalie, thank you.